ice formations up around the Mackinac Bridge. I think you know, we should go check those out. I did see hear about those. Let's hop on the sleds and we'll go up there and uh, and make it up. Why would we go on the sleds? Well, it's definitely going to be faster to take the snowmobiles. I mean, wouldn't. look at it out here. It wouldn't. Yeah, it's it like highway all the way up there. You think it'd be faster to take the car all the way up there? That's like an hour yeah, long Yeah, the sled, you're going to be hitting bumps. It's going to be cold. You're going to be stuck behind people on rental sleds. It's going to be slow and miserable. Yes, but what you have in the car that I don't have on the snowmobile is what we call a speed limit. Now, out in the open fields, across the lakes, on the trails, not a police officer in sight. This is sounding like it's starting to be a race. I think it is. We do have the Tesla. But it's only at like 50% charge here. Okay with that? I am. All right. Because I could do it in comfort mode. Don't forget, you've also got some extra weight because that means if you're taking the car, you're taking passengers. Loser buys dinner? Yep. All right. So underneath the Mackinac Bridge, whoever gets there first doesn't have to buy the other one dinner. And everybody else dinner as well. Well, I hope you've got your wallet ready. I hope I do too. May the best man win. Three, two, one, go. set in my mode let's go have some dinner <laughs> now it's not a very explicit route where I'm going I'm gonna be taking a lot of uh, shortcuts if you will I'm always so fascinated with how easy this car is to drive Son of a bitch. <laughs> Woo! I haven't gotten to ride this one in a while. Hey, what's up? Nathan. Um, we're actually just starting to film a video, so. I'm always so fascinated with how easy this car is to drive. I just get in this car and I just, I feel comfortable. I feel welcomed. It welcomes me into its atmosphere. Oh man, the roads are getting rough this weekend. We're gonna win. We're gonna have dinner. Maybe I'll order a nice big steak. <laughs> I actually don't know because we're going decently slow on these, but... Steering wheel. There is a sports steering wheel. Yeah, I hate that. That's too heavy. It's, it's, oh, too yeah. Too heavy. See, I have another advantage. If I wreck and kill myself, I'm only doing about $5,000 worth of damage. If Nathan wrecks and kills himself, he's doing about $40,000 worth of damage and taking two others out with him. Are you saying I should drive faster? Hmm. If that's how you want to interpret that. If you break it though, you buy it, Nathan. <laughs> <laughs> Are we actually going to be able to see him alongside the road at um, any point? At some point we will. We might actually be able to see him right here, but I think he might be long gone by now. I think he's going to win. I really do. Now, admittedly, I'd have a little bit better shot with a higher horsepower solo wheel. This is about 110 horsepower, 600 cc, full inline parallel twin, if you will. Once we get up to the tighter trails, this sled will be just as fast as any of them, but for these long sections, I could be doing about an extra 20 miles per hour if I had some more grunt. He doesn't have any weight on him other than himself. There's no one behind him. He gets to go faster. He gets to take all the, sh the small shortcuts that we're not going to be able to take. I think he's going to win. I'm already a bit chilly, but my blood's pumping. I'm working the sled. That helps. Oh, yeah. The other name in the game is not to get a ticket because that would slow you down a lot. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, so much more. So we're going to have some tight, twisty trails here to start. 
and then we're going to have a lake, which will be interesting, and then we're going to have a field and a power line, and then one long blast of straight trail. It's actually an old railroad track turned into a snowmobile trail. This one's really going to get worked. Man, the steering is so responsive in this car. Every time I get in it, coming from a Ford Taurus, it's that's really, a lot older too. Really, quite incredible. This renegade backcountry has really been a gem since the day we got it. The bandwidth is just incredible to be able to do on-trail stuff, no problem with its 136-inch track. That's also 16 inches wide, one inch wider than most tracks. These big old Pilot 6.9 skis. A few winters ago, I actually did a 300-mile day on this sled through a lot of trails like this, to be honest. And I was, I was sore, but I was still happy to do it. I want to conserve some energy here. Oh, we'll be fine. What I really don't want to come up on is any big, slow groups, tourist riders, putzing along the trail at 20 miles per hour. You know, one thing Nathan doesn't have by taking a Tesla is a good soundtrack like this. Every time I get on the gas, I get to hear it. I get to feel it. Nathan doesn't get that in the Tesla. Instead, he's got two ladies who are probably yelling at him to slow down. I'm not too nervous. I'm going to go at a brisk pace, but not a not a bullet pace. Not quite there yet. Okay, good. If I see him on the side of the trail, I'll have to pick <laughs> up speed up on the highway. Oh, well, yeah. Holy shit. Logging. Snowmobile's worst enemy. Oh man, please tell me they didn't go left. Alright, we're good, we're good. Look at these beautiful roads. Beautiful? What are you talking about? It's a terrible condition. <laughs> I mean the winding part of it. I'm really lucky I've not come up with any other sleds yet. It's not range we're um, concerned about, it's just power. If we suddenly realize we're in the losing place and we need to pick it up a little bit we might have some issues. The sad thing is if he beats me by only a minute or two then it'll be because I didn't take the fastest sled. We've got multiple sleds with over 150 horsepower. Would have gotten me that extra extra speed but who knows maybe that lower speed difference will save my life in one of these situations. Trail, where's the trail? Where's the trail? Trail, trail, right here. Oh. <laughs> Technically, I could have gone down to that road too, but you know, keep it fair. Give Nathan a little advantage here. Make me work for it. Oh. I think this Rev XP chassis is one of the best ones Skidoo's done in terms of just general riding satisfaction and confidence. Every Rev XP sled I've ridden been great. Oh no, I'm coming up on people, but good news is we're almost out in the open. I can fly by them. Whew. Man, am I breathing. I'm going to need some dinner after this. Hopefully on Nathan's dime. Alright, I'm going to open up. Fly right by him. Right now. now there's no direct path across the lake. I just know I'm aiming for some park on the other end. Here we go. Now if we hit any water spots, we'll just fly right over it. we are right now. Yeah, we're gonna lose. We're not gonna <laughs> lose. We're gonna lose. Oh 
man, I'm making an awesome time. There's no way he's ahead of me at this point. But the problem is, now is where I'm a little less familiar with the trail. I kind of know where to go, but I'm also going to be... Ugh, I'm also going to be relying heavily on the tracks of others to get me there. What do you think, Rosie? Who's going to win? Alright, so I'm pretty sure I take a left right here. Let's see, where's everybody else gone? Looks like people are going straight. Straight we go. Oh, shit, I don't know where they're going. Yep, this looks like the path. A lot of tracks, so it's got to be promising. Ultimately, if I just head north enough, I'll get to the lake and I can uh, make my way over to the bridge from there. And we really have never done this before. The group has never, and it's not a common question asked, um, which is faster to go on a, a snowmobile up to Mackinac or take a car. I guess we could get a little bit of speed back on here. Yeah. Rosie and I will watch her cops. Or deer. Or deer. Deer and a lot more worried about. Uh oh. See a hunting shack. Oh, oh, this is good. This is the power line. This is very good. Okay. Let's hit it. The other thing is this average speed. Charlie has to slow down so much more than we have to. Oh. I'm not getting the speed average I want through this trail, so it better be pretty direct. Seems like we're going the right direction. Oh, break, 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 break. Damn it. Reverse. Thank goodness for reverse. I don't think this is the way I planned on going, but I'm thinking it'll still get me to where I need to go. Engage autopilot. Okay. All right. This seems good. Fields are good. We want fields. Is this levering road? If it's levering road, I'm in good shape. It is levering road. Woohoo! Levering road will take me right into levering. That's pretty common sense, right? This is going to run road the entire time. It's not cheating. I'm still on the snow. It is going to slow me down, though, because I cannot go full speed on the, on the road like that. I'll tear up my slide rails. Alright, now do I cut in, get to the power line just to come back? Or do I continue running the road? Let's see what the tracks do. If there's tracks that way, I'll take them. Oh, fuck it, there are. Alright, alright. I do not want to get stuck. Woo! Turn it and burn it, baby, let's go! Oh no! I hit the fucking... I hit the kill switch. Oh, are you kidding me? We're getting right off again. Ah. Come on, Charlie. You're way ahead at this point. Don't... Don't lose it. So we are about a quarter of the way done with the race. Oh. Oh, is that him? That is not him. Oh. What is the color of the sled? Yellow? Yep. Yes, for Okay, good. That'll we're getting up to the point him. where we would, um, cross with them. I'll let you know what okay. that is. I could have just run the road. This is counterproductive. Yeah, there we go. That's... That's a good sign. We're going for it. Oh! That was the risk of running these trails, or running the fields. Like I said, I don't really know them super well. It's been years. Yeah. Woo! I know this trail. I know this trail. I don't know if we're going the right direction, but there should be a trail right through the woods here. Yep. Okay. All right, this is good. Oh. I'll tell you one thing, Nathan's probably more comfortable, but I doubt he's having as much fun. He's probably stuck by some slow poke in a town and country or something. Trump was in front of me and there's nothing I can do. Uh, here we go, look at this. I know exactly where we are now, let's go! Woo-hoo! 
Oh no, someone's blood broke down back there. Can't do this in the Tesla. I wish I had Bluetooth or something. I could call Nathan. See where he's at. Wait, that's right. You're supposed to turn there? Yep. <laughs> oh, I've already made a mistake. No. Don't get no. us stuck. No. All right, good. <laughs> no, come on. Give me speed. Got to make up time for that. Wait, do I still have to go all the way down that power line that I was talking about? Oh my gosh, I do! <sighs> this is the right one, right? Yep, okay. Eli Road. Okay. Is that a dog? Holy sh**. This is a jump, this is a jump. How fast do I want to hit it? How fast do I want to hit it? Woo! So the other thing this race is going to come down to is who is pushing harder. Because right now I'm pushing some somewhat hard but this is about the average cruising speed of the of snowmobiles on this trail if they're oh. trying to go fast okay. it's around 70 for me it'd be about 80 with the turbo Articat. I wish I weren't racing I could hit some of these fields but gotta beat me all right now this is gonna be an interesting section this is a power line and this is a rough stretch of trail if I haven't gotten a workout yet it's gonna be right now my headphone cables are getting pulled every time I stand up. There's not really anything I can do about it now. Ugh, that was full air right there. Woo! <laughs> and up here, we're going to be coming up to the airport. It's going to be on our right. I've done this power line plenty of times, never hit it this fast before. Now, this is a rough section, I should have gone to the left. If I could have just taken the road, I'd probably be going faster, but wouldn't be as exciting, I guess. I feel like if I were going to mess up, it'd be right now. Huh. I'm just getting fatigued. There we go. All right. We're done with the power line. Just got to get through a section of... Whew, section of this trail. Crossover. One field, coming to town, turn on to the railroad grade, and then it's anybody's game at that point. This is where the highway starts and where the tri uh, main trail starts. It's going to be right up here. Because I can go faster on the trail, but I also have to come to a stop multiple times. He does not. If I were on a faster sled, I would be pretty confident in my advantage there, but this one, I'm not sure. This is the same road I was running earlier. Just could have just stuck, stuck on it. My work is pretty much done. It's all coming up to the machine now. Man's done his job and I'll give him a B minus. Let's go! Alright, easy time begins now. I don't see anyone in front of me on the trail, which is good. Full throttle for about 10 minutes. Please don't blow bump. Trail seems smooth, that's good. On the highway, let's see how fast will autopilot let me get. Speed is too high, no. This is the main trail right there. The section you can absolutely just fly down. <laughs> Now, if he went, if he took the fields north, which that's, I think what he was saying he was going to do, we're not going to see him until a little bit longer. Okay. Yeah, see, I could be doing well over 100 right now on a different sled. 
There we go, she's waking up, it's 90. Well, baby goat, she wants to win too. Charlie is really quite competitive when it comes to this stuff. He is, but I do also know a sled, and a sled does not like to um, cruise at higher speeds. Huh. How come you went with that one? Because it's his. Oh. <laughs> there's some, there's a little bit of passion going on right there. It's mm -hmm. a bonding thing. Aww. There are faster sleds he could take. But he didn't want to because they're not. Yep. I see. Oh, you what, there's no way he's doing 90. This is a good speed. If we can keep our speed up around here, then we'll be golden. Okay, cool. Oh no, we're catching up on sleds, but it's not good. Charlie's section is definitely going to be a lot more interesting than ours. I see a headlight. I don't think it's safe to assemble an outfit class right now. Oh my gosh, there's so many! Guys! Oh! I imagine so, yeah. We're, we're just driving. <laughs> yeah, this is just a normal trip. Come on, dude, don't ride in the middle of the trail. Alright, we're going. All right, that's good, that's good. Kind of felt like a dick, but we gotta go. Here comes a rider. Oh, those guys are booking it. They're going the wrong direction that Charlie would go, right? Yep. All right, I'm turning all my heated grips off, everything. I need every ounce of power going toward the sled. You want your seat still on, Nathan? Uh, no thanks. Fight for grip, come on, get there. Oh yeah, there we go. It's like VTEX. Holy snap! Oh, we're going to hold it wide open. No, we're not. <laughs> you know what's going to be really um, depressing is if he starts going by us and there's nothing we can do because of these yeah. cars in front of us. That's fair. I would really like to be doing 70 on this road right now. <laughs> but traffic. This is by far the most boring race I've ever done. <laughs> but if we win, it'll totally be worth it. Mm -hmm. Come on, there can only be a few more of these roads. Oh, there's the bridge. Oh, man. I haven't seen the bridge in years. Line in the map now. What about Charles? Okay, okay. All comes down to this. <laughs> this will be interesting. Now we gotta deal with Mackinac City traffic. Oh, great. Oh my gosh. <laughs> the first red light that we've come to. Red light. Oh, red light. I didn't think I'd have to deal with red light. Come on. Uh, this is brutal. Give me that green. Give me that green. That's awesome. Go. Go! <laughs> Why are we going under the speed limit, people? We gotta cross. Get out of the way, Jeep. Get out of the way, Jeep. I'm trying to decide where they want to eat. Well, I'm trying to decide a race here. I don't care how hungry they are. They need to move it. How's Charlie gonna get through all this traffic? He's gonna have to go right there. Oh man, on the sidewalk. Yeah. Come on, people. Let's get the fuck out of the way. Get out of my way. Come on, get the fuck out of the way. Oh, I saw that white crossover, I thought it was Nathan. There's a parking lot, there's a parking lot, there's a parking lot. Oh, it looks so full. That's not a Tesla. That's not a Tesla. Where's he at? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There's so many people here. I guess they should have gone that way. Oh. I don't 
see him. He just walked right out in front of me. <laughs> Get out of my way. <laughs> I'm in a race. They don't Could know. Could you walk a little bit faster, please? I told huh? you to honk your horn. It's 401. There are snowmobiles everywhere. Is he not here? I think we won. I think we won too. There he is. <laughs> How did he beat us? How long have you guys been here? Uh, uh 355. Seriously? Yeah. yeah. Wow. What time is it now? Man. 401. 401, we were here six minutes earlier than you. I thought I thought I had that, but man. Yeah. You made good time. Yeah. We weren't pushing it either. Really? No, we really weren't. It was very chill. Oh, chill it the, mode. I, it was the most boring race I've ever done. Yeah, it was <laughs> very boring. Except till the very end when going through town and I we're started yelling around. at people. Yeah, there, there were people, I'd come up on them on the snowmobile and, the, and get out of the way. Yeah, <laughs> five minutes. Tesla say, wins! I think if I had an 800 and if I knew my route better around the uh, those fields, it would it would have been like within a minute. Uh, well, congratulations. And I guess you're buying dinner. Or I'm buying dinner. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're buying. Cool. My <laughs> wallet is saved. And that's two races under my belt. Well, either way, I'm proud of this lad. Ten years of abuse. And she took it like a champ. I think I went through like half a tank of gas at least. <laughs> oh man. I was flogging. Jeez. Huh. Well, should we go check out some ice? Yep. Yeah. Cool. Mm -hmm.